<laughs> Alright, so we have Colton Miller here. Colton, thank you so much for, for tuning in. And I just had some questions in regards to what the Chargers defensive front seven pose. From a schematic standpoint, you have obviously Edge, Khalil Mack, and now you have Joey Bosa, excuse me. What, are, what kind of problems do they possess, especially when they scream off the edge so fast with that fast initial get off? They're, uh, they play with great leverage. Uh, break it off. You know they're strong. Um, they, uh, you know, they, they can line up wide. You know, tie. They're they're really dynamic rushers. So just being able to, uh, you know, trust your technique and being able to work together to uh, to pick them up is uh, going to be uh, vital. And being a leader on this team, obviously, as a first round pick, you know, you're playing lights out uh, the past few years um, since entering the league. One thing that I noticed when evaluating the game film is when you talk about technique, you talk about leverage points, you know, they like to disguise their fronts, whether it be a 3 3 5 or something like that. So from a leadership standpoint, what's the communication like from a communication standpoint? How hard is it when you have to face a team like that that can add multiple fronts on any given play from pre yeah, and post-snap play? Yeah, just being able to, I mean, a lot of it's on, you know, DC, you know, Dre, uh, uh, you know, everyone being keyed in and communicating, hey, you know, we see we see something over here that will alert us to okay. some sort of pressure. So, just uh, have, being real, real uh, tight on you know knowing the fronts and communicating that what could possibly happen will uh, help us play, play faster. Yeah, Jared Stidham here, and uh, Jared, I just want to talk to you about your first year coming to Las Vegas. One thing that I noticed about your game is you're very consistent and accurate in making the proper reads, going through your progressions. Can you just talk about that and how that has helped you mold? into the player you are today? Yeah, I mean, for me, um, you know, being a quarterback, that's kind of what I try to hang my hat on every day is just trying to be the same player, the same person every day that I come in the building. Um, try to be consistent, like you're saying. Um, you know, put the ball in the right place, you know, those sorts of things. So, um, you know, I'm never perfect, but, you know, trying to work hard to uh, just be consistent on a, more of a daily basis. And then how important was it for you when you got you traded here that you're in the same system with Coach McDaniels because I feel like there's no drop-off in you. And I, I kind of went on and kind of foresaw that because what I saw in your game coming out of college was I was like, man, this guy gets it. And obviously, Coach is going to put you in the best position to make plays. But aside from that, I mean, I feel like you can be accurate in all three levels. Can you just talk about specifically the progressions and, and or how this specific scheme that fits your skill set is really helping molding your game and taking it to the next level because yeah. as you know on any given play you can be that starting quarterback. Yeah no I think for me you know obviously being with Josh in the last three years in New England uh, getting comfortable with with him and how you know how he calls plays and kind of you know how he puts together you know certain things and whatnot um, you know I've just tried to stay up with it as much as possible throughout you know the last three years and obviously coming here kind of the same thing so um, just it kind of goes back to the question before about just being consistent and um, trying to put the ball in the right place on any given play, um, trying to understand, you know, what, why we're calling a certain play and so forth. So um, that's just kind of been my biggest thing with, with this offense and, uh, you know, something I'm still working to, you know, uh, work on and improve on every day. Uh, but I feel like it just, you know, you got to focus on fundamentals and just focus on the details, um, not letting the game get too big. Just focus on your job and uh, uh, being your best every snap. A couple your, guys at your position uh, in the preseason kind of showed out. Malcolm Koontz and Tashawn Bauer both yeah. had multiple sacks. Uh, no, you weren't playing, but I'm assuming you were watching. Were you hyped up seeing them have that, or what was that like watching them? Yeah, it's the best. You know, obviously you see guys like, you know, Malcolm, uh, another Matt guy. Um, who's coming here, you know, he got here last year and he just continued to improve. So um, seeing him, you know, coming to his own has been, been awesome. And then um, to Sean Bauer, another one, uh, you know, nobody was talking about him before, you know, uh, when he got signed. But now look at the guy, he went in the preseason, he got four sacks. Um, I think he led the whole um, preseason in sacks. So, yeah, it's just like seeing guys like that come in here um, who are really not talked about and make a name for himself. That's what it's all about. So, I'm, you know, I'm so fired up for those guys being a part of the team and um, you know they're just going to keep you better every day like they've been doing. It's not fair to, to do that to the team or to yourself to go out and say you know we want to win this many games or I want to have this many yards. It's not important. The most important part is just going out and playing together as a team and, and maximizing our potential.